Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the first preview of the new Photos app for Windows 11. The new Photos app brings a new gallery experience, improvements to make browsing easier, it also includes better search and management features to improve the consumption of your collection of photos. Ok, here's a first look at the new Photos app for Windows 11. In this first preview, the app offers a new interface that moves the navigation pane to the left side of the screen where you can access your pictures from OneDrive and folders to store locally on the computer. You even have an option to access your favorite images. You will also notice that the interface uses the new Mika material that shines the background colors through the frame and uses rounded corners that follow the same design language that we find on Windows 11. The main interface offers a canvas with controls to sort the files and also to filter by photos, videos, and all media. You can also change the size of the thumbnail previews, and now you even have more options than in the legacy app. You also notice that the images now include round recordings as well, just to follow the same design throughout the application. And you can also resize the navigation pane, or you can collapse the menu so you have more space to see your images. This is experience as you scroll down, at the top, you will also find the search box, which is the same search box that you will find in other apps, such as the Microsoft Store. We also have an option to import images from a external source, such as a camera or SD card. And you can also access the new settings page, which has also been redesigned with a new organization for the settings similar to what we see on the Windows 11 settings app. And these are all the settings that are currently available on this first preview. If you have local folders with pictures that you want to see on the app, you don't have to use the settings page to add those folders. Instead, you will just go to the folder section. And then from here, you can add the folders that you want. You can do it from here and there's also an option at the top right corner. Also the app makes it a little easier to back up your pictures to the cloud. For example, you can select the pictures that you want and then just click the backup to OneDrive option. You can also move and copy, share it or delete that image. And if you have a selection, you can click right here to deselect the current set of images. When you open an image, it will open into a different window and it offers the same experience as the legacy app and you still have access to the same options. Unfortunately, the new app no longer offers video editing tools since Microsoft has acquired the ClipChamp app and now the company wants you to use that application for video editing. You will even find a option to get the Microsoft ClickChamp app right through the settings of the new Photos app. So, and that's basically all that's new on the new Photos app for Windows 11. The company is gradually rolling these applications to insiders, but you can always use the Microsoft Store app to check for updates and force the update if you want to get a first look at this application. Of course, you have to have a device that is enrolled in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. And that's all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.